Today we'll demonstrate how to remove all the panels from your Gilson Testmaster testing screen. We will remove the top cover with hopper assembly, the right side panel, the left side panel, and finally the rear panel. Then we will demonstrate how to reassemble the Testmaster and its panels. First, unplug the unit from the power source. Then, unplug the power cord from the unit. Move the test master away from walls to allow sufficient room for working. Next, open the doors, remove any screen trays or pans, and set them aside. Remove the four screws at the corner of the top panel, lift the top panel and hopper assembly off the unit, and then carefully set it aside. To remove the right side panel, you first need to disconnect the timer connection, which is fastened to the front of the drive case. The connection is under the drive case cover. The drive case cover protects many of the mechanisms of the unit from excess exposure to materials being tested. To remove the drive case cover, from the front of the unit, reach under the drive case cover and at its rear center, Locate the mounting screw. Remove the screw, slide the drive case cover towards you, lift it off, and set it aside. Snip the wire tie holding the connection to the unit. Remove the electrical tape around the connection. The electrical tape protects the connection from excess exposure to materials being tested. Once the tape is removed, the connection plug is visible. Unplug the timer from the unit. Please note that the green sections plug into each other. Remove the mounting screws from the right side panel. Pull the right side panel off the unit and set it aside. Next, remove the mounting screws from the left side panel. Pull the left side panel off the unit and set it aside. Finally, Remove the rear panel mounting screws and pull the rear panel off the unit and set it aside. Now you have complete access to the components of the Gilson Testmaster for inspection, adjustment, or replacement as necessary. You have removed the panels of the Testmaster to inspect, adjust, or repair your Testmaster. Once that is completed, it is time to reassemble the panels of the unit. Attach the rear panel and note the companion screw holes from the rear panel to the side panels. Do not over tighten the screws. Attach the right panel. Make note of the location of the timer so as not to damage it when reassembling the test master. You may need to move the panel around to line up companion screw holes from the right panel to the rear panel. Attach the left panel. You may need to move the panel around to line up the companion screw holes. Now tighten the screws of the right, left, and rear panels. Next, reattach the top panel with its hopper assembly. Now the connection between the timer and the unit should be reassembled. Ready a wire tie. Plug the timer into the unit. Please note that the green sections of the connection plug into each other. Completely wrap the connection with electrical tape. Secure the connection with a wire tie. Now we're going to reattach the protective drive case cover. Slide the case panel in position and screw it into the unit. The screw hole is located under the drive case cover, centered and towards the back of the unit. Plug in the power cord into the rear panel. It is important that the unit be leveled in the location of operation. Once the test master is leveled, the testing screen is ready for operation. For any questions concerning the Gilson Testmaster or for any other Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.